that leads us to a question from one of our viewers, Marvin, who asks, how does one approach a friend, as you're saying, Josh, or someone who is born Protestant, who through no fault of their own, really in their raising, doesn't know about the church? How do we introduce them to Catholicism uh, with charity and truth? Father? Um, actually, I think that's a good question for Joshua, but I think that the, um, the, uh, I think the, I think the primary thing is two things, uh, truth, uh, through with charity. I mean, it really does boil down to being charitable to them because then they see there's no animus if you actually see what's what, what they, what's what well, you're seeking, what's good for them. But then also the truth, I think, I think a lot of times they're, especially if they're, um, a lot of the Protestants today are uncatechized even in their own religion so a lot of times they're actually more open if you just if you're just very rational calm and they see that you're a normal person and you just want the best for them a lot of times just presenting them things here and there will get them thinking and then they'll actually that will that's kind of the segue because i think that you know even though they're protestants they still have reason they still have use of reason and and as a result if you appeal to that i think that's the segue into getting them to give you know serious considerations to what they believe. Mm -hmm. Josh, that sounds like what you were saying before. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you from my experience, um, the way it really started for me is I had about a decade's worth of just studying scripture carefully, and I couldn't reconcile Paul and Christ. If, if what Paul meant was what most Protestant sects in one form or another said that he meant. And so I actually tell my Protestant friends, reading the Bible carefully is what really sent me toward Catholicism. Uh, and I could give a million examples of that. Um, but, uh, and th but I didn't read a single church father until June of 2017. But by that time, I was already convinced pretty much that some Protestant ideas were wrong. And I, I will say the Lord has seen fit to, I mean, I'm constantly having new conversations with Protestant friends. And a lot of it has happened, you know, Social media brings a lot of evil into this world, but not it doesn't necessarily have to. I mean, as Steve knows with census fidelium and whatnot, but I just posted church father quotes all the time. It so many conversations, so many conversions. I've had a number of friends who've already converted. Some who are very close. I mean, just today, I don't know him, but a famous Protestant, well, he's not Protestant really anymore, but named Cameron Bertuzzi has a channel called uh, Capturing Christianity. And he just announced today that he's converted because um, he did an in-depth study of the papacy. So, um, but in my experience, many thoughtful Protestants have actually already kind of maybe thought about some of the issues like, well, how do I get the Bible? Why are we endlessly dividing? There's clearly no uh, basis for that in scripture. So if you kind of scratch the surface with some Protestants, um, I've often found that there's an openness, not with everybody. And I think Steve definitely knows that. And I definitely know it as well. Um, but if you just present the truth and love, um, it, it, it can go, it can go a long way. Hmm. See, we have another question from one of our viewers, Mary Kay. She asks, why did Protestants remove the seven deuterocanonical <laughs> books from the Bible? I know it's a question a lot of apologists field all the time, but go ahead and walk us through that one. Well, let me because, just uh, <laughs> think back to what they said on the last one, because I was, I mean, I've been doing that for years going straight St. Paul street team giving out medals and rosaries. I mean, I had the people had mentioned the, uh, the anti-Catholic Bob Jones University. We had the oh, entire festival walk around with rosaries, all blessed. Uh, did that many, many festivals here in the South. Um, Uber, I'd have, you know, people get in my car. I had rosaries. I had miraculous medals. I had CDs strategically. So when I'm doing 70, I could figure out which CD that person needed. It was, and it was color coded. So if, if they were black, I had a black thing on it. No kidding. White had white. Spanish had, had green. I had it so I could easily see it and give it to them. And I remember having one guy. He was uh, he was from Guadalajara, and we were talking about the Cristeros. And by the end of the trip to the airport, he was wanting he was looking at the movie trailer and was talking about wanting baptism. Wow. So 